What's up everyone and welcome back for another video here on my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are one of my returning subscribers, welcome back. And if this happens to be your first time stopping by, hello and welcome. My name is Monet, I am 26 years old and here on this channel I am just dedicated to showcasing my financial journey. I am mainly a cash budgeter so I utilize the cash envelope method. So what I aim to do is to just teach and and share this system how I use it and hopefully help and inspire others that might be questioning or want a better understanding of it so that's truly what my aim for this channel is so if that is also something that you think you would be into then definitely hit that subscribe button and join the family and don't forget to click the bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload my next video So within today's video, I am doing something that you guys truly love and request very often, but it's kind of hard for me to do sometimes, but I am bringing like a vlog slash day in the life type of video for you guys. So during this week, I had recently got paid. Today was Saturday and I got paid on Friday and I was feeling optimistic and I said, why don't I go ahead and document myself of what I spend during the week? So that's really what this video is, just to give you like a behind the scenes glimpse of some things that I do and then sprinkling in the things that I buy and showing you guys how you can use the system. It doesn't have to be complicated at all, so I always aim for simplicity. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Definitely let me know down in the comments. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started with my spending for the week. So once I was out the door on the road ready to begin my day, the first place that I actually stopped at was the bank. This was for my small business. I had to make a deposit so it doesn't really have anything to do with my spending for the week but again I'm just documenting my week and what I do. So after that I was ready to begin spending for myself and if you know me and you are a regular on the channel, my first store that I'm going to hit up is always going to be Burlington. They have me covered from like accessories to home decor to clothes. So whenever I'm in the mood to spend and treat myself, that is the first place that I go to. You also see that next door is a Ross. So we're also going to hit that up. So while I was in Burlington, I actually found this sweater and the minute I saw it, I had to pick it up. It says antisocial and this is me to a T. So I thought it was cute and it explained me. So I bought it. And then I was also on the hunt for a new wallet. The wallet that I have, I've had it since last summer. So I was due for a new one. And I was looking for one that was tan like the one I have and also one that was black. I couldn't find a black wallet that I liked, but I did see this crossover bag, so I got that. So then next I made my way over to Ross, as I said, and when I was over there, I was looking for jeans. I tried to find jeans in Burlington, but none of them were working for me. But these two jeans that I found in Ross, I am obsessed. I've never worn Ross jeans before, and I don't know what I've been missing out on, but the quality and the price was just right, so I had to get these two. And then I made my way over to TJ Maxx and I was just going in there just to browse, but I walked in and I found a black wallet. And this wallet in particular, you guys, I've had this in my Amazon cart for over a year now, waiting for the price to drop and it never dropped. So when I walked into TJ Maxx and I saw this for only $15, oh, I had to pick it up. After that, I did head over to DSW. I was trying to find some boots for the fall season, but I really didn't like anything that they had and I made my way back home. So 
So before heading in, of course, I had to treat myself to a well-deserved meal after all of that shopping. So my favorite food is Chinese food. So of course, I'm gonna pick that up for myself. And y'all don't come for me because I have yet to find bar stools that I like so I can eat food at my dining table slash countertop. And I have yet to find like a coffee table for my living room that I like. So I've been eating off of my TV trays, you know, it's fine. It's still cute. It gets the job done, but no need to be made fun of in the comments. So later on that night, I actually did step out and run to Target. Coincidentally, I was going to look at bar stools, but that did not work out. But I did find this beautiful dress in the clearance section, and I thought that this would be perfect for my cruise slash upcoming birthday trip. I told my mom I feel like Princess Tiana in it, so I had to pick it up. And I was on the phone with her in Target when I got it, so I couldn't show you guys, but this is me trying it on later. Alright you guys, so it is the next day as we can see it is Sunday and every other Sunday bright and early I go grocery shopping So what I have to do is take inventory of my home before I go shopping because that is what leads to Unnecessary spending me buying things that I don't really need So in addition to all of the groceries and everything that I want to get I also take stock on any toiletries or you know miscellaneous items that I may need because when I go to the grocery store, it's a one-time shop. So I go through everything in my house to make sure I got what I need. But once we are done, it only takes maybe about 30 minutes for me to take inventory and then I am ready to hit the store. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my So here I'm just showing you guys my complete cart and my technique of how I split the categories. So in the back I have my groceries and towards the front of the cart are my toiletries and I do self checkout so I just pay for each of them individually.
wish I knew. All right, everyone so back from the grocery store i'm not sure if i said it already because i know i'm doing like voiceovers for this video but i did stop at croaker and i wanted to get also watermelon and salad but what i saw i didn't like so i'm gonna have to go to a different kroger and pick that up later in the week but it was just getting too busy too hectic out there because it's football sunday so everybody's trying to get their stuff and then get in their house so they can watch the game so it was a little too hectic, so I had to just come home. But as we can see, it's now 11.07. I got to Walmart by 9 a.m., so about two hours in total to do everything. I didn't get too much because I have pretty um, good amount of meat that I can make for some meals. So I, I have pork chops already in here, steak, um, drumsticks, and ground turkey, and hamburgers. So I already had a couple of things already in terms of like meats to make a meal and i'm trying not to be wasteful and get things that i don't need so i just really restocked on what i needed but here i have um some bread i have bagels and i have buns for my burgers back here i did pick up some chicken party drumsticks the flat and the wings if that's what they're called or drumlets is what they refer to um i have another thing of ground turkey here because as you'll see i want to make tacos this week so i picked up the ground turkey for that and then the ground turkey that's in the freezer i use that for my spaghetti here i have lettuce for the tacos i picked up another box of elios i just like to throw these in when i don't feel like making dinner here i have um pink cranberry juice absolute best um pop tarts were on sale and i like to bring these to work when i just need a little snack um bananas i love these crackers i normally only get these at the airport but these are so good so picked up some of these picked up some cheese for the tacos these little bags for these little noodles i love these so always have to have some of that um i got tomatoes for my tacos i got cream cheese for my bagel grapes strawberries the taco kit the scoops uh white rice some ramen um this is like a little specialty for myself i normally don't pick this up but i got this from costco and i went to the store hungry which is why i picked this up this wasn't on the list but i splurged a little bit on myself and then i got some gum i always have gum wherever i go so this is the gum that i take to work and i'm known as the gum lady so i buy a big pack so when people need gum they always have it and then this is gum for like myself that i carry every day so this was everything for the grocery section i'll go ahead and pop up a total completely across all three stores of everything that that came to 
And then over here is the little section for toiletries that I picked up. So in the back, we have some toilet paper. I needed to pick up some sandwich bags. I needed more sponges. Carmax is something that I always have. My lips can never be dry and I only use this. This is lotion that everyone is raving about. So I had to go ahead and pick this up and see what the hype is about. So excited to try that. Got some mouthwash, got some more cups, and then restocked on my Dove body wash. Also, excuse my dishes. <laughs> I have to wash the dishes. But yes, this is my toiletries. Go ahead and pop that in the corner for the total. And that will complete my grocery slash toiletries for Sunday morning. I did have to end up going back outside. I had a prescription from CVS that I had to pick up that day and I completely forgot. It did not cost me anything because my copay covered for everything. But since I was on the other side of town, I stopped at another Kroger, got the watermelon and the salad that I needed. But after that, I was in the house for the rest of the night. All right, everyone, believe it or not, it is now Friday. I have completed a whole week of spending. As I tell you guys multiple times, I really only do my spending on the weekends. And during the weeks, I just go to work, go home. I have food at the house. I have lunch that I pack for work. So I really do not spend a lot during the week. And the weekends is when I treat myself. So looking at the calendar, I like to track my spending based off of when I get paid. So since I got paid on September 8th, the spending that we just looked at for the week was from September 8th to September 14th and today is September 15th. So now at the end of the week, I like to come in and look at all of my spending, see where my envelopes are and write down what I spent my money on to give myself a little bit of reflection and seeing if I need to change or alter anything. With my budget sheets that you'll see me use, I do have these kits available for a digital download if you think that they will also be helpful. I make them for each month, but this is the calendar page. But what we're going to go to is our expense tracker and that will just list everything that we spend our money on. 
All right, so here's my expense tracker, as we can see from the prior week. And I'm just going to list everything that we just saw. So since I'm a cash budgeter, I live by my receipts. So in this little envelope is where I keep all the receipts that I've collected throughout the week. And then I write them down and based on their categories of where the money came from. So since we already saw it all, I'm just gonna go ahead and write it and bring you guys back when I'm done. But with the mention of receipts, you gotta always mention Fetch. If you guys do not have this app, please go ahead and check it out. It's a fabulous app that I've been using for the past two years now. And it's simple, it's free, and you just scan your receipt and you get points. And then those points turn into gift cards that you can use. And you're always going to get points, at least 25 points from any receipt that you scan. So check it out. The link is down in the description. I have a referral code. So if you use that link and you sign up with your first receipt, you will get 2,000 points and I would get 2,000 points. Go ahead and check it out if you haven't heard of it. So with that being said, let me go ahead and write down all of my spending. You'll also notice that I do not deal with change whenever I write down my expense amounts. So if something is $12.80, I just round that up to $13 because it's just easier for me not to deal with change. So let me go ahead and write that down. All right, guys, so here we are fully completed. So just to give one example, on September 9th, we know we went to Burlington. I bought that hoodie that said antisocial. I took that out of clothing and that was $17 once I round up to the next dollar. So that's just all I do on this sheet. And again, it's just another way to let me see what I'm spending my money on. If I'm seeing I'm doing spending a lot, if I see I'm eating out a lot, going to the groceries a lot, that's something that I need to look at myself and see, is that something that's necessary in my budget? And do I need to adjust to accommodate that? Or is that something that I can dial back on and learn how to manage? So this sheet really just helped me when I first started budgeting because it really put a perspective on my tracking. But, you know, since I've been doing this for three years now, I kind of got a handle on myself and how I spend my money. But still, got to stay up to date and track my spending. So now that we're done with this, we can go ahead and go to the weekly tracker. And then that helps verify that my dividers in my envelope are what I actually write down on paper so that going into the next week, I am set up for the best possible of success. All right, here we are with the weekly check-in. The first thing I write is for week two and the dates. So we know this is my spending from September 8th to September 14th. So I like to just write that there. And then here is where I write my categories. These are the categories for the cash dividers that I carry. All right, the next thing that we do is go ahead and fill out the plus column. This just signifies if we added any money to these categories, how much was it? So I look to my paycheck breakdown for this. Here we see is my cash dividers with the categories and I also have gas here. So looking at paycheck number one, gas received $40, so that's plus 40. Spending got 100, groceries, 150 toiletries 50 clothing 30 and eating out with 40. so that's all the money we had coming in and then we can look at our expense tracker to see the money that came out so counting all of the spending that we did for gas i only went to the gas station once and that was for $20 looking at spending we did spending for burlington that was 38 spending at tj maxx that was 16 and that's it for that. So that's a total of $54 for the week on that. Next up is groceries. Groceries, I just put all three of the supermarkets that I went to and gave a grand total. So I only did groceries once and that was a total of $120. Toiletries, also once this week and that was for 52. Clothing, I did quite a few spending this week on clothing. So first Burlington with 17. Ross with 33 and Target for my dress with 11. So that's a grand total of $61 that I spent. And then last is eating out, which I only did once. I got Chinese and that was a total for nine. 
All right, so now that we have a total of all of my spending that I did for the week, I brought over my cash dividers so that we can check and verify and close out the budget for the week. So in terms of gas, I don't actually have an envelope for gas. I do keep that on my debit card because I go to Costco. So looking at gas, if we look at the week before, we had $94 remaining. We went ahead and added $40 with the paycheck and we spent 20. So that now means I have $114 remaining in my gas category. And that is true when I checked my account, I had $114 for gas. So next we can move along to spending. Looking at spending from the week prior, we had $25 remaining. We added $100 from the paycheck and spent $54 this week. So that means I should have $71 left in my spending. So here we have spending and counting that is 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So that is true, $71 for spending. All right, next we get into groceries. Groceries had $110 from the week before, added 150 and we spent 120. So that now means I should have $140 in that divider. Checking out groceries, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40. So correct, $140 for groceries. Up next it is toiletries. Toiletries we had $40 the week before, added 50 and we spent 52. So that leaves me with $38. Here is toiletries, and we have 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. So correct, 38. Next is clothing, 55, what we started with, added 30, and we spent 61. So I should now have $24. So we definitely used a lot of that, but that is what I expected. So we have 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So correct, $24. And then the last guy that we have is for eating out. We had $10 the week before, I added 40 and spent $9. So that's $41, which is a very much a surprise. As I told you guys in my last cash envelope stuffing, I did a lot of eating out the weeks before. So I kind of told myself, I needed to go on a break. So eating out is here and we have 20, 40, 41. So that is great, $41. And I'm definitely gonna treat myself to a meal today for eating out. But as we can see, all of our dividers are correct and they match perfectly on the paper of what we have. So that always just works out nicely. But overall, you guys, there you have it. That is how I track my spending, make sure I stay on budget. And I hope you enjoyed a little behind the scenes peek at what I do and how easy it is to use the system. As always, if you have any questions or if you want any more information, you wanna look at it in a different perspective, just let me know down in the comments below and I will do my best to either answer or try and come up with a solution for you guys. I always just want to make sure that I am educating and inspiring and motivating people. So that's truly my aim and I really hope you guys appreciate it. Definitely let me know with a thumbs up because that will let me know that you guys enjoyed this type of video and I can try and do more of it and be sure to share it with anybody that you think would also find benefit but with all that you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a good weekend and i will catch you all next time in my next video bye guys